Nathan, thanks so much for talking to us. So tell me, what is, how would you assess Hong Kong today? Well, the Hong Kong political situation is definitely dire. We have seen more and more political activists um, going to jail, um, more and more political organizations disbanded. Um, all the major independent um, and uh, free media that are critical to the Chinese authorities are also now disbanded. Um, so we, we are engaging into a more or, le more or less like living in a totalitarian state where people they cannot express themselves, all the discontent are being quashed and we are unable to have meaningful um, collaboration in between uh, in, in terms of doing political opposition. Is there any kind of outreach that is, I mean, how are you, is there organization outside of, of Hong Kong for the people, for people like you who have chosen to organize outside? For now, we are we are having a growing diasporic community where uh, people in the US, in the UK, in, in the Australia, etc., they are forming uh, community groups, they are forming political advocacy groups for Hong Kong. And we've been seeing a very vibrant scene of um, international advocacy work and also cultural work, which, um, for example, for myself, uh, I've organized film festival in London to host those banned movies in Hong Kong, those movies about the 2019 protest. Um, so to give another way for the truth, for the facts to continue to exist and to um, to make also the British um, audience to know more about our struggles. Jimmy Lai is also a, a joint, he's yeah. UK citizen as well as a Hong Kong. Um, he chose to stay. Yeah. I mean, uh, would, what do you see happening now? It, it, it's extremely shocking um, for what has happened to Jimmy Lai um, for two reasons. First of all, he chose to stay. He's a billionaire, he's a media mongol. Um, he has all the resources to live a comfortable and um, well, comfortable life for the rest of his life. But he decided to um, kind of like repay for Hong Kong by staying there and to, um, to see a sort of redemption to, to, for, for the love of Hong Kong, which the city has given, given him everything. So he stayed there to make a point, showing that um, there are people who are determined to, um, to basically stay with the city. Um, but on the other hand, uh, for what we've been observing um, from the attitude of the Chinese authority, that many political commentators would, su would suggest that we may not be able to see Jimmy Lai get out of prison alive, just because of the sheer um, political pressure Beijing put to him and to the court. Um, so it's, uh, we, we may definitely witness um, one of the most like harsh um, political sentencing um, to him um, in Hong Kong's uh, history. You just wrote, I mean, you wrote this book. I'm putting it in front of him, yeah. guys. Uh, you were in prison. Uh, advice? Well, um, my my time in prison is definitely relatively short compared to the political prisoners that we have now. Um, but I always believe that this is um, the hurdle that we have to overcome if we can navigate our way through prison with a calm and strong mind. And when we come out, we are still critical to the government. We're still holding in truth, not being blunt by the um, ordinary routine of prison, by the deprivation of communication to outside world and by the kind of like um, worries of going back to jail because of um, well, persecution and worry about loneliness and separate from loved ones. Like when you can really um, manage to go through that stage and reconcile with yourself to see it in a normal and peace mind. And I think that is, um, one of the most fundamental challenge to activists and when you manage to go through it, you can definitely become um, a, 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 an activist with a strong mind and it can bring you go forward. Um, so I, I think this is what a lot of Hong Kong people, Hong Kong activists are going through. Um, last question, Anne Applebaum talked today about uh, autocracy Inc. Yeah. China, Russia, um, from what you've seen, how do we stop the erosion 
of democracy and uh, and the rise of autocracy Inc. China and Russia, they have been closest allies. Um, the leader of China once said um, the collaboration between two countries has no limit. So we can definitely see they are trying to push forward a lot of autocratic agenda um, to craft a world that is um, welcoming them. So um, for now, the very first thing I, I think we needed to do is to, um, to see the rise of authoritarianism as a global crisis. We've seen it in um, climate change, we've seen it in global property, arms proliferation, etc. But we have never come to an understanding that we have to see it as a global crisis so that we can amass enough uh, resources, we can make global agenda, we can make sure um, democratic countries are on board to provide necessary assistance. Um, in, in, in before, we were thinking about like China being um, rich and then there will be a growth of middle class, there will be people demanding private um, rights and rule of law, etc. We, 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 we had a virtual thinking that China would step into um, the, the modernizational path and um, it went wrong and it cost us a lot um, because our economy has been so dependent on China. Same thing happened to um, the energy dependency on, on Russia and all these things um, took place because we never thought that we needed um, to have mechanism to hold them accountable when we had that kind of um, deepen the relationship with them for the past decades. And the result is um, we are being held hostage most of the time. Um, when we want to go tough on China, when we, on, on their human rights abuses, when we want to go tough on Russia when they launch a war to Ukraine, it, it's getting very difficult. We've also seen um, the dependency on Russian gas leading to a lot of backlash in public opinion and, and cost of living crisis. Um, so all these things, uh, we've come to an awareness and awakening, and we just have to be ready to uh, really to, to, to amass enough resources and awareness and determination to tackle them. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you.